On this channel, we've taken a look at tons of different methods of weird and wacky full body tracking for the masses. This is because we've been on a mission in order to make full body tracking and virtual reality as simple and affordable for anyone that might want it. The problem is, some of these methods are really, really weird and don't work well enough to the point where actually creating them or doing them would be worth it, as sometimes it does take quite a bit of time. Well, in today's video, we're going to be checking out the most accessible one of these full body tracking methods that we have had to date. What is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you how to do full body tracking with nothing but a quest and a phone. No computer, no tracking devices, nothing, just a quest and a phone. I'm really excited for this one, so let's jump right in. A lot of people ask me, what is the point of full body tracking? Why would you want full body tracking to begin with? So you can stand in front of a mirror in VR chat and do some funny poses? Well, first of all, that's really cool because seeing your movements be directly copied in virtual reality is a feeling that you cannot forget. And once you play virtual reality with full body tracking, you basically never want to go back. But which games actually support it? What's the point in buying these expensive devices if the only thing you can do is use them in VRChat. Well, first of all, VRChat isn't the only game that supports full body tracking. Throughout the years, we've had crazy mods for other titles to make them support FBT. For example, Foot Saber in Beat Saber allows you to play with your feet, and is a hilarious and great new way to train your feet instead of your hands. Blade and Sorcery, for example, would allow you to kick people directly there in the game. And there is multiple other titles I could go on and on with the list, even though there certainly isn't as many as there are without it. The problem is, the number of people with full body tracking is still a minority, which means that tons of game developers just aren't going to be interested to implement it. But the more and more people that have it, and the more of a norm that it becomes, the more titles are going to support it. That and a lot of people are still really interested in actually getting their hands on full body tracking, but just can't do so because of either it being too expensive, too difficult, or just not making any sense. With a method as cheap and simple as this, you might finally be able to try it out and see if it really is for you. So let's jump right into the setup process. This is going to be as easy as it gets. First thing that you are going to require is a phone, and one phone only, because we are actually going to be using the camera from that phone in order to track your pose into virtual reality. How well that's going to work? Well, I guess... That's what we're here to find out. Next thing, you are going to require an app, Driver for VR. And I was recently made aware that Driver for VR came out on Android. Now, this app does come free. You can actually try it out with waist tracking for free. However, if you do want the rest of your body to be tracked, there is a one-time payment of 15 euro, which is why I'm here, so that you guys can see how it works before you make your purchase. Driver for VR, we've tried out multiple times on PC. No, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I pay for all of these things out of pocket, but I have found it to be one of the best pieces of software for people that want weird and wacky ways of full body tracking. In fact, it's what I use for connect full body tracking for the longest time. So find Driver 4 VR on the Play Store and download it. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need to grant it access to use your camera, and that's pretty much it. You can start seeing yourself be recognized inside the camera app, and the first thing you'll notice is how accurate it really is. Even without seeing your entire body, it can already start recognizing where your body parts are, which is crazy to my mind. Next thing you are going to require is your Quest's IP address. So turn on your Quest, whether it's the Quest Pro or Quest 2. Head into the settings, head into your Wi-Fi, click on this little button right here, scroll down to the bottom and find your Quest IP address. Now take that IP address, this is your local IP address, so don't worry, and type that into the settings inside the Driver 4 VR app. Once you've done that, you can launch VRChat on your Quest and it's time to find out how well it truly works. So, first thing you are going to want to do when you jump into VRChat is hop in to your actions menu. Inside your actions menu, go into options, then OSC, and enable OSC tracking. I also like to enable the OSC debug window, as that will tell me if the OSC is definitely connected. Then, on your phone, you are going to want to press the connect button once you have typed in, of course, that correct IP address. In the OSC debug window, you should see your trackers now show up. So, you can go into your menu, and click Calibrate Full Body. Once you've done that, you now have full body tracking inside VRChat with nothing but a quest and the phone. Let's check it out. And I must say, 
I am actually incredibly impressed. Don't get me wrong, this is far from being the perfect solution, and there's a lot of issues here that we'll go over in a little bit, but coming from the last camera-based full body tracking setup that we tried, this is a massive improvement. I was able to do basic things like move around my legs, hold them up in the air, and this tracked them basically perfectly. I was even able to sit down, both on the floor and on a chair, and it also tracked that really well. So that already had me pretty impressed. But then the issues started coming. For example, turning around. Even though the camera seems to know exactly what's happening and does seem to know that you are facing in the other direction, that doesn't exactly translate into VR chat. So that's a problem for those of you that want to be turning around. Also, what seems to not be perfect right now is fast movements. Any fast movement that I wanted to make, like spinning around or kicking, just wouldn't be registered. Now what I did notice is that inside the app it did say we're running at like 14 FPS, which doesn't sound ideal. I do wonder why that is, and I do wonder how we could improve upon that. However, I was very, very impressed with how well this was working. The fact that I could lay down, I could sit down, I could move my legs up and down like this, I could place my arm on my leg was really, really impressive. I am happy to say that this is a viable full body tracking solution for those of you that want to have some sort of full body for slower movement. So for like sitting down inside VR chat and vibing with your friends, I would say that this is actually quite viable. For kicking people in blade and sorcery or playing Beat Saber, probably not yet. Not until we can improve the FPS. I still do wonder why we were only running at 14 FPS when normally my camera can run up to 240. So that is something I am quite interested about. However, this was all running completely just on the Quest inside the Quest version of VR chat and nothing was connected to a PC. Overall, I am very satisfied with the result and it is a lot better than it was the last time. So I can only imagine that this is going to continue improving. I'm, I'm very happy there's so much more to say. I was actually honestly kind of expecting this to not work as well. Now there are some glaring issues with this method and the biggest one I can think of here is occlusion. If you sit down in a way where the rest of your body is obstructed or you sit down in a way where your camera can't see the entirety of your body, well you're going to have a bad time as your body parts will be occluding other body parts and the camera doesn't exactly know what to do when that happens. That, and you can't hide under blankets if you want to sleep in virtual reality. I mean, it's definitely far from perfect, but it might just be a great alternative for those that want to be playing full body tracking inside virtual reality with the devices they already have. And this is certainly the most accessible method of doing so we have to date. It only requires one phone, which you probably already have from setting up the Quest. The Quest itself, no computer, nothing like that. And I am super happy to be able to bring this to you guys. Hopefully, this brings full body tracking to way more people and you guys get to play around with your feet inside virtual reality. That is going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you do try this out, please do let me know down below. Or are you just going to wait for a different method for full body tracking? If you guys like this one, please do leave a like. It costs you nothing and it helps the channel out a lot. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. But let me know why down below. Check out our Discord and check out our Reddit down below where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. Thank you so much to all the lovely names going off to my right right now. Those guys are my Patreons. You guys are helping me out so, so much right now. Seriously, I cannot thank you enough. With that being said, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on our channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.